boys and girls and my dear teachers i am shek mahbub basha welcome to my channel happy learning today's topic is formula for curved surface let it be rarer medium let the refractiveness of the rarer medium be n1 this one a denser medium let the refractive index of the denser medium be n2 this is the sphere enclosing the curved surface its center c the center of the sphere will be the center of curvature c the center of the curved part is the pole p of the curvature the line passing through the pole p and the center c is the principal axis of the curved surface let o be a point size object on the principal axis observe the ray from o towards p a ray from the object along the principal axis will pass through p and is undeviated select a second ray from the object as shown let the ray meet the curved surface at a let alpha be the angle between the incident ray and the principal axis a line drawn from the center to the curvature will be the normal to the curve at that point the angle of incidence is theta 1 the ray bends towards the normal in the denser medium the ray obeys snell's law n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 the angle of refraction is theta 2 and the image i is formed on the principal axis let the angle of refracted ray with the principal axis b gamma and let the angle between normal and the principal axis be beta let a and b the normal from a on to the principal axis then n is the foot of the perpendicular in a triangle external angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles therefore in triangle aco theta 1 is equal to alpha plus beta similarly in triangle aci beta is equal to theta 2 plus gamma or theta 2 is equal to beta minus gamma substituting the values of theta 1 and theta 2 in the snell's law equation n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 we get n1 sin of alpha plus beta is equal to n2 sin of beta minus gamma here we can treat the incident and refracted rays as the paraxial rays that means the rays are almost parallel to the principal axis then the angles alpha beta and gamma become very small then sin of alpha plus beta can be written as alpha plus beta and sin of beta minus gamma can be written as beta minus gamma now the equation 1 can be written as n1 of alpha plus beta is equal to n2 of beta minus gamma then distributing we get equation number 2 for small angles we can also write alpha equal to tan alpha beta equal to tan beta and gamma equal to tan gamma here using right angle triangles we can write tan alpha equal to an by n o tan beta equal to an by n c and tan gamma equal to an by n i substituting the above values of tan alpha tan beta and tan gamma in equation number 2 we get so 
on simplification finally we get n1 by n1 is equal plus n2 by n1 is equal to n2 minus n1 by nc for the approximation of paraxial rays that is if the rays are very close to the principal axis then foot of the perpendicular n coincides with the pole p then n i is equal to p i n o is equal to p o and n c is equal to p c then we can write the equation number 3 sign convention all the distances are measured from the pole only distances measured along the incident rays are always taken as positive and distances measured opposite to the direction of incident rays are always taken as negative the objective distance po is equal to u and is negative the image distance pi is equal to v and it is positive and the radius of curvature pc equal to r is also positive substituting in the equation number 4 we get n1 by minus u plus n2 by plus v is equal to n2 minus n1 by plus r so finally formula for curved surface n2 by v minus n1 by u is equal to n2 minus n1 by r this is the formula for curved surfaces if you like the video please give a thumb up for more videos subscribe my channel happy learning and don't forget to press the bell icon